Why do speaker drivers sound different? This great question comes to us from Norman in Quebec. Hmm, getting eaten alive by this, this stand here. I should have moved that in the first place. Well, here, we're going to put this whole music stand over here. <laughs> it's live, folks. Yep, that's, that's what it is. And you. All right. Um, so Norman in Quebec writes to me and he says, how can a speaker sound better than others for the same size and configuration? I can understand that two amplifiers using different types and or quality of components will sound different, or one even better. But speakers, well, they're a magnet, a coil of wire, and a cone of paper. And yet you can go from one extreme to another in sound quality. And that is absolutely correct. So there's a couple of things going on here. First off, there aren't many good examples of identical drivers, all right? So imagine, here, here, here's a driver, right? And here's a driver, and here's a driver. Now these, this one and this one, I think are the same size. There are parameters within each of the speakers that changes dramatically what they do and how they perform and how they sound. So let's just start with those. So let's say that we have a couple of, I think these are eights, or maybe they're tens. Um, and this driver isn't just a coil of wire, a magnet, and a cone of paper. There's a lot more going on than you might think. First off, there is a surround. Notice here, this is what moves this in and out. This little thing holds this down. On the other end of this cone is another suspension system we call a spider. Now that spider is just this corrugated material that holds the back of the speaker cone in place so it doesn't rock around. Connected to that we have the coil, the coil of wire. Now is that a one inch coil, half inch coil, two inch coil? Is it made out of tin? Is it made out of copper? Is it made out of Nomex? What's its weight? How is its gap, the place where that coil goes into the magnet? What's the size of the magnet? What's its motor force? Is the magnet made out of neodymium or is it made out of ceramic? I mean, if you look at the math and the equations that our speaker designer Chris uses to determine the performance of a particular driver, it'll make your eyes cross. There is a hundred different things from the amount of excursion to the weight of the cone material to its efficiency to its BL to its um, compliance and I mean it's, it's this is a very complicated mechanical device and any of those parameters that are not identical will make it perform differently in the same box. But to go on further there are different types, in particular, the different kinds of materials sound different. A carbon fiber cone will sound different than an aluminum cone, even if they are the same weight, because they have their different points where they start to buckle, where they do all kinds of things. I mean, when you look at this cone closely, using a clipple system or some, some kind of uh, laser system where we can measure what's actually happening to the cone in real time, you'll see all kinds of funny behaviors on a paper cone that you don't see on an aluminum cone and vice versa, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, the simple answer is, there is no simple answer. <laughs> it's complex, right? The, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very complex, device. It seems simple, but it's not. And that's why they sound differently. Okay? Hope that helps. Thanks for the question.